Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with May's Grocery Haul. Today is May 1st, and I did my monthly grocery shopping at Walmart today. So let's go ahead and get started over on this side. I um, stocked up on some different drinks. I got some 100% juice, cranberry, and Conquer grape ocean spray juice. And then I thought I would try out these two new Pepsis. One has a splash of blueberry juice and one has a splash of lime juice. So that sounded really good. Um, I love to have little uh, cans of pop in the summer and spring. The weather's finally start to be summer-like, so I thought I'd try those out. And then also for drinks, I got another case of peach bubbly and another case of blackberry bubbly, two of my favorite flavors. I also recently tried pineapple bubbly, and I can only find it at one grocery store, so I'm hoping it'll start making its way to other grocery stores. It is very good. Um, so if you like pineapple, definitely try out the pineapple bubbly. And then I got a bunch of frozen goods here. I picked up a bunch of these pepper and onion blends. I've been going through these quite a bit and uh, my freezer's pretty low, so I stocked up on those. I got one box of Philly steak and cheese um, hot pockets and a couple of chicken pot pies just for quick fixes. And then also I picked up a couple of lean cuisines, again, just for quick lunches, steak portobello, fettuccine alfredo, and macaroni and cheese with broccoli. And then these are my husband's favorite ice cream bars, the Magnum Double Caramel and the Magnum Double Chocolate. And then I wanted to have fish sticks, so I picked up these big crispy fish fillets as well as the classic little uh, fish finger style crunchy fish sticks. So we'll have fish sticks one night this month. And then going back here to the pantry goods, I got this little mug cake here. I've tried these in the past. My daughter really likes them, but this is a new flavor lemon cake and it looked really good. And then also I picked up some Quaker Instant Oatmeal. I got peaches and cream. I haven't tried that flavor in years. Um, so I thought I'd give that tr a try again. And then I also got maple and brown sugar and apple and cinnamon. I picked up some sugar cones for ice cream cones. I love to have that on hand. Um, I got some more of the Keebler fudge sticks. We really enjoyed those last time we tried them and everyone really seemed to like snacking on those. So I picked up another container of those and also the individual packs of the Oreo Thin Bites. Those are also really good. And then the little fresh stack packs of the premium saltines. Now my husband picked up some of his favorite baked barbecue Lay's. And then also I got a couple of Cheez-Its. The buffalo wing flavor sounded really intriguing. And then also some Cheez-It grips down here. And then for my pantry, they had some sales of this uh, Augustine Farm dehydrated um, food that I do like to keep in my pantry. So I picked up the potato slices and the carrots, which were both on a really good sale. And then I also picked up a Colby cheese. So I do like to have those um, just as a backup, you know, for earthquakes or storms or something like that in my pantry. So I thought I would add those three to the pantry today. And then back over here, I picked up some Veranda coffee, the Starbucks coffee, that's our favorite blend. And also um, our favorite Brilla pasta sauce, tomato and basil. And then this was something that was super intriguing to me. We were just walking by the canned um, veggies and noticed these. They are whole corn on the cobs and they are like shelf stable and they are cooked. You just heat them up. It says ready in one minute. So I thought that that was just too interesting to pass up. So I got six of those so all of us in the family can try it out and see what this uh shelf stable corn on the cob is like if it's any good or what that would be like it just looked really interesting um, so we thought we would experiment with that I also picked up some of these little non dippers I love making hummus um, and these just look like they would be perfect for that so I thought I'd try those I also thought I would try out the limited edition lemon old-fashioned donuts from Franz um, I love the original old-fashioned donuts and I love lemon so I think that these will be really um, fun to try out and then we also picked up some sour cream and a two pack of cinnamon rolls. With this I would like to try um, where they put these on a waffle maker and then they use the cinnamon rolls to make waffles. I've seen that a couple of times on um, little different videos so I thought I would give that a try. And I got a couple of cheeses, just some medium cheddar and mozzarella slices, some spaghetti rigotti, a couple cans of cream of chicken, and some whips yogurt. These are so tasty. I got raspberry and orange and lime and chocolate. Then I also got these really pretty ice cream sprinkles. I'm going to be doing a project in late May and during the summer um, 
that I am hoping to use these in. So I'm really excited to have these. I thought I would pick them up now um, just to inspire me and to remind me that I have a project in mind for those, which hopefully I'll be able to film um, sometime this summer. And then I got some whole wheat bread, some turkey kielbasa, and some Thomas's uh, English muffins and a couple packs of chicken breast tenderloins. And that is pretty much it for groceries, except I also found this little bag. My husband checked out the groceries for me while I was doing something else. And I had commented on the way up to the aisle that these little tiny cans of Frito's bean dip were really cute. And he knows I really like that as a snack. So he put that in the cart without me knowing it. A cute little tin of a Frito's bean dip, as well as a little snack size bag of Fritos. So I thought that was really super sweet of him. Um, he knows how much I really enjoy that as a snack. So that was a really nice treat to find when I was loading groceries into the car. And now I'll go ahead and share with you my May meal plan. So May is definitely a crazy month for me. We have loads of birthdays and the biggest thing of all, my daughter is getting married in 17 days. So we are in crazy wedding mode around here and the meals have to be really simple and um, yeah so this will kind of reflect that you're not going to see as many super homemade meals this month I'm going to be very busy for the first half of May and that is also why you will probably notice a few less videos um, this month and why there haven't been many videos uh, for the last couple of months I've just been very busy uh, getting ready for my daughter's wedding but these are the meals we will be having tonight we'll be having southwest chicken casserole with corn and cornbread um, Thursday the 2nd, we'll have grilled hot dogs, salad, and fruit. And unfortunately, all of my grilling has to be done on my indoor grill pan because when we went to fire up the grill, luckily we opened the lid first before we turned it on. There is a nest of birds in there and they have eggs going on and it's an active nest. So we're going to let them finish that out before we use the grill again. Um, and then Gary's birthday dinner. My husband is turning 50 on Friday, so we will be doing something special for that. On Saturday the 4th, we're having fish sticks and veggie tots. That is also the day I will be busy hosting my daughter's bridal shower. So very busy weekend. And then Sunday, we're going to see the Avengers, which I'm really excited about. And... Um, then we'll be having dinner out. And Monday the 6th, we'll have Italian sausages and peppers on rolls with fruit. On Tuesday the 7th, we'll have barbecue chicken, mashed potatoes, and veggies. On Wednesday the 8th, we'll have mozzarella chicken with veggies. On Thursday the 9th, we'll have takeout. On Friday the 10th, we'll have chicken taquitos and Spanish rice. On Saturday the 11th, we also have another birthday dinner to uh, prepare. My daughter will be working on that. It is her fiancé's birthday. So again, lots of birthdays going on this month. And then, of course, the 12th is Mother's Day and so I thought I would have a picnic style dinner. On Monday the 13th we'll have pork roast with potatoes and veggies and then Tuesday the 14th we'll have leftovers and Wednesday the 15th we'll have lemon chicken with rice and veggies. On Thursday the 16th that is the rehearsal dinner and then Friday the 17th is wedding day and then after that on Saturday and Sunday the 18th and 19th I'm not going to worry about anything. I might go out I might make something simple, but probably I'll just be recovering from such a big week. And then on Monday the 20th, we'll have spaghetti and meat sauce. Tuesday the 21st, broccoli and cheddar soup with bread. And Wednesday the 22nd, leftover soup and sandwiches. On Thursday the 23rd, we'll have steak potatoes and veggies. And then on Friday the 24th, we'll have steak tacos. On Saturday the 25th, we will be making pulled pork barbecue sandwiches with coleslaw. And then Sunday, we'll use some of that pulled pork to make sweet and sour pork over rice. And then more yet to make pork tacos on Monday the 27th. On Tuesday the 28th, we'll have omelets. On Wednesday the 29th, we'll have salmon and veggies. And Thursday the 30th, we'll have turkey veggie rice bowls. So that is my meal plan for the month of May. As you can see, I have a very busy month ahead and I will uh, definitely be back to filming normal in the last half of this month. I'm really excited for some of my summer projects. I've got other really exciting news to share with you. Um, so definitely be looking forward to all of that and know that um, I will be back after all the wedding craziness. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my May grocery haul as well as hearing my meal plan for the month of May. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.